In today's Nomadic Access Pouch Review, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about this little guy to decide if it's a pouch for your needs. Waterproof zippers to the main compartment, super lightweight. A hidden RFID safe, and you can't do that on a lot of slings. What in God's name is this thing? But if it's not, don't worry. We've reviewed other pouches that I have here on hand that I can offer as alternative recommendations in case this is not quite your cup of tea. One step at a time, let's talk about this guy, then we'll talk about these guys, let's go. First up, let's talk about the gist of the Nomatic Access Pouch. Because you might be like, Aaron, is that a pouch or is that a sling or is that a crossbody? What in God's name is this thing? Basically, the, the pouch revolution is upon us. What used to be the sling revolution, slings go like this across the chest and like, this is more like a vertical sling, AKA a pouch or a crossbody, call it what you want. But but in essence, it's worn like this. And the gist of it is that it gives you pretty quick access to a small amount of gear that you wanna bring around on a daily basis. Some of the pouch's top features are a quick front access pocket, waterproof zippers to the main compartment, super minimalist when it comes to organization, a hidden RFID safe back pocket, and a removable shoulder strap. The Nomadic Access Pouch currently comes in one color option, black. The size is a very tiny 0.4 liters. The dimensions are about seven and a half inches tall, five inches wide, and about a half inch deep. It weighs an incredibly lightweight 0.25 pounds. This is the access pouch when it's empty. This is the access pouch when it's packed out and worn on me, for reference I'm five foot eight. And this is the access pouch when it's packed out and worn on our media manager, Margaret, who is for reference five foot two. And we'll pack it out throughout this entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. Nomadic products are protected by their lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. And for all that, the access pouch currently runs a little bit less than 50 US dollars. And if at any point in this review you're thinking to yourself, access, axe, yes, I'm going in. And you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. But that link also helps support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel and team so we can keep making the best bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. Let's talk about the outside of the Nomadic Access Pouch. First up, let's discuss fabrics. Fabric's so important to the bag, right? It's the whole identity. And this fabric is some sort of ballistic nylon, possibly up to a 1680D. And ballistic nylon is a fabric that was developed by the military. It's very weather resistant, it's very durable. And if you look at it with a microscope, you can see that it has a beautiful weave to it. God, I could look at this all day. But one negative thing about Nomadic's ballistic nylon is I think at the price point, they could use like a name brand ballistic nylon. I'd love if Nomadic used Cordura, but it's a non-name brand, which is kind of a consistent uh, criticism that I have about Nomadic is they skimp on their materials ever so slightly. Nomadic's branding is front and center right here. What do you think? Is this branding a little bit too loud? Would you would you cover it with a Sharpie? Let me know your thoughts on this on this logo action on the access pouch. I wanna hear it in the comments below. And then from there we have the quick access pocket. And it's really basic. There's no magnet that keeps it in place. There's no zipper to seal it up. It's just a good old fashioned slit pocket, which given like the size and shape of these pouches is a perfect spot for your cell phone, at least in terms of access, right? Because you can grab your phone quite quickly, but then Potentially, so could other people that you don't want grabbing your phone. So if you're a little bit concerned about safety, it could also be a good spot for your sunglasses, really anything that you just wanna grab very quickly, very easily. But the lack of protection in that pocket will turn some people off. Me, I would have preferred maybe a zip just in case, but you know, also it does open the pocket up. All right, staying on the outside, we're gonna move to the back and we have this RFID safe pocket. Now here's my thing with RFID. It works and yet it is also complete at the same time. Reason being, the technology is pretty legit. Actually does block the waves that it needs to block. But the truth of the matter is there's no credit card thieves that are like hanging out in cafes with like satellites and headphones, like in like radars, like beep, 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 beep. That's not how credit card theft happens in 2024. All on the black market. So this thing is like really just kind of marketing. Unless you think I'm full of crap, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, it's just not how credit card theft happens in the modern day and age as far as I'm aware. But in case I'm wrong, the RFID lining will give you a little extra peace of mind and the protection will protect your credit cards, which is, you know, communicating to me is a good spot for your wallet. I have the slim fold wallet right here, so you can see it's a nice, perfect fit. Zip it on up. And that PU coated zipper will help protect whatever is in this pocket. But can it fit a passport? I don't have my passport with me, but I do have this notebook, which is B7 size, which is passport size. Let's see if it fits. And it, it will, it certainly will. A little, little tight, zip it on shut. Love that size. I think this is a great travel companion. Like for me, I like to do one bag travel, right? But I'm really two bagging. I got my big old backpack on my back and then I carry like a sling or a pouch with all my tidbits of gear that I need quick access to. A passport being one of those things, you can throw it right back there. It's a good fit. Sock shoulder strap. This thing is 0.4 liters. You do not need a 
thick, well-padded shoulder strap. It's something that's light and adjustable. And that's about it. This is a fine nylon webbing, a little bit of silkiness to it. But what's cool about the shoulder strap is, as I said, it's removable. And you can't do that on a lot of slings, which then sort of allows you to double this thing up into like, I don't know, like a passport wallet. You can probably fit this in the back pocket. You can use this as a tech pouch. But I will say it's definitely a vertical sling first and anything else that you want it to be with the shoulder strap moved a distant second. All right, let's uh, move on to the next chapter. Let's talk about the inside of the Nomadic Axis pouch. We'll pack it out a little bit. We'll see, we'll see what you're made of, little guy. First up, we've got the PU coated zippers, not YKK, another point of irk, irkness, irksome. Another point of ugh, about Nomadic. They never use YKK zippers, dude. And I'm just quadruple check that. Correct, verified. No Y to the K to the K, which makes Aaron M to the A to the D. <laughs> Fucking MC in over here. But listen, like I also understand why Nomadic doesn't use YKK zippers because they don't have to and it's their business and they're trying to make a profit in a highly competitive industry. And it's hard out there for backpack brands. And the reason I know this is, well, I don't know if you know this, but I don't only review bags, but I've actually undertaken the fascinating journey of building my own backpack and documenting every step of the process here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you wanna see what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground up, and you wanna own some of the key features of our future products, like we're gonna do a sling of my new backpack brand like very soon. So if you sign up with the second link in the description below, you get on the email list, you can vote, you can see the whole process. It's pretty cool. I really hope to see you in your inbox because not a lot of people are building things with the transparency that I am with this project. So yeah, check it out. Second link in the description. Back to this guy. You can see in the make apartment though, really basic. Nomadic's a company that's like always been known for pocket galore. We just re-reviewed their Nomadic backpack like a couple hours ago and there's like literally 11 pockets just in the front compartment. But on the access pouch, we literally just have one mesh pocket on the front side of the main compartment and that's it. Not that much to talk about, but really seeing what it can handle. So let's load it up, see what it can fit. All right, I've got some miscellaneous items here, pretty normal stuff so you can get an idea of what the access pouch can fit. Let's talk about some things that it won't fit. First up is like a classic moleskin notebook. This is the 8.25 times five inch. You can see that one is not happening. Another thing is like your standard small umbrella, right? You might be like, I can sneak that in. And you can, technically, uh, it's just not gonna close, right? You can do one of those though. That'd be kind of cool. And then you can like take the umbrella out like a ninja. <laughs> my name is Indigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. What movie is that from? Let me know in the comments below. One of my favorites. But now we can talk things that the access pouch can fit. I got a 13th generation Kindle. Absolutely perfect fit. B7 notebook, AKA passport size. Slide that on in there. iPhone 13, perfect. Let's see if we can fit my anchor portable battery in the elastic pocket as well. And throw some charging cables on the sides, one on top. Let's see if it'll zip up. Seems like we are just gonna make it. It's a tight fit. And the more you pack it out, the less likely you are to get anything into this front compartment. And the takeaway is like bulky, widthy items, they're not gonna make the cut. Notice it's a Kindle, it's a cell phone, it's a battery, right? These are things that are taller and not too fat because this thing is skinny. That's about it. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Nomadic Access Pouch. Pro number one, super lightweight. Pro number two, the ability to remove the shoulder strap, pretty cool. And pro number three, you gotta love a good old fashioned PU coated zipper into the main compartment. But I got some cons as well. Here they are. Con number one, kind of a lack of security in this front pocket. Con number two is maybe one more pocket in that main compartment would have been kind of nice. And con number three is that Nomadic has a tendency to skip on their materials, especially with the non YKK zippers. But if you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, YKK, IDK, LFG, YKK, IDK. But if you're thinking to yourself, you know what, Aaron, for me, the pros outweigh the cons. I think I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get one. And you're gonna make a purchase. Just a reminder that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Thank you. But if you're not quite sold, it's time to fulfill the tease from the intro and talk about one, two, three alternative recommendations. Alternative recommendation number one is gonna be the simple phone sling. This will be for you if you wanna get a little more bang for your buck. I mean, it's a bit more expensive, but it does use Cordura materials and offers a bit more organization while still having a detachable strap. I love this thing. And to learn more about it, take a look down in the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is this guy right here. 
the Alpaca Vertical Sling. This is for you if you want to take your weather resistance to the next level, because this guy has PU-coated YKK zippers. See that nomadic? YKK. And it's also made from X-Pack material, which has its own cult-like following. And it's got the orange interior, whole bunch of cool stuff, larger size and capacity, very cool sling. And to learn more about it, description down there, you'll find a link to our full review. And alternative recommendation number three is gonna be this guy right here, which is the Bellroy City Pouch. And it's kind of a great alternative recommendation if you like the whole pouch vibes, but you want a bit more space and just like more color options. Bellroy, they're so good with colors and design and just being fun. You're so fun. It's a fantastic pouch, great access, great protection, great materials. And we did a great review, if I may say so myself, which you can watch right here. Have any thoughts or questions or comments or anything about the Nomadic Access Pouch? Let me know down there because I personally respond to every single comment myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Aaron. This is Nomads Nation and we'll catch you next time.